Hello and welcome to my channel. I don't usually start my cleaning intros this way, but I wanted to because today is the 31st of December, which means it's the last day of 2019 and I'm going to be cleaning because I do not want to start the new year with a ton of mess. So I'm going to give you a sweep round and show you the mess that I have to clean. You know what it's like at Christmas time. It gets hectic. And then you go in the holiday period and then you get lost in those days between New Year and Christmas or and you're like... I don't know what day it is today. <laughs> so yeah, about the mess. So we just have stuff everywhere. You can't even sit on our couch. You've got Leo's toys everywhere. He slipped on this mat like so many times, it's hilarious. He's got his pajamas, he's got boxes, random things, a toy ramp thing, his big digger. He opened that on Christmas Eve, the cheeky monkey. He's got his kitchen that I'd... <laughs> I feel like I keep organising it and it just keeps getting like that again, but he at least is having fun. The table is a mess as per usual. That table just gathers mess, man. I'm, I'm so ashamed of this. We have one, two, three, four, five bags of recycling. The bunkers aren't too bad, but we've got so many dishes. And I'm actually on strict orders not to do any dishes because of my hands. This is Leo's room. Like, oh my goodness. He got so many new toys, it's an unreal. And just trying to get them clean is a nightmare. Hi! Do we need to change your bum? I think we do. And then as well, the Hall of Doom. This is all recycling as well, so that probably equals about nine bags of recycling to go downstairs. At least we recycle though. To cut down on our chemical use, we've been using white vinegar rather than fabric softener. It works really well at softening the clothes and as well it doesn't leave a vinegar kind of smell. It's all very fresh, the washing machine washes the smell away, but it leaves you with really soft clothes and especially really soft towels. I also just wanted to add that it also maintains the health of your washing machine. It cuts down on lime scale, it cuts down on any sort of grime in there. So as well as keeping your clothes really clean, it also maintains your washing machine. I thought since I'm cleaning I may as well pull out the sofa and oh my goodness when I pulled it out there was at least 30 different items behind there. Does anybody else get this? Do, do children just like stuffing things under the sofa when nobody can find them? As you'll just have seen I cleaned up the puzzle. My brother and his partner got this for Leo and it is an absolute nightmare to put away. I mean he loves it and he has so much fun playing with it but trying to get it all back in that plastic bag you have to organise it, you have to put the shapes in the right place. It's a puzzle within itself just putting it back in the bag. Please leave me a comment and tell me that I am not the only one that has a chair of doom in their house. That chair that just, oh just left, leave it on this chair for a little bit, I'll deal with that later and then before you know it you've got a whole chair full of different things waiting to be put away. Please, please tell me I'm not the only one. When it came to cleaning Leo's room, I went in there, I sat down and I said to myself, oh my goodness, where do I even start with this? So I kind of scratched my head a little bit and then I just started and, and then I kind of made some sense of it.
So that is a little bit better. I do need to work on the old room as you can see in the back. There's got all this stuff here. That's come from my dad's house. That's all the stuff that I've stored there while I was living in London that I need to go through and deal with. Um, so yeah, I need to think of some more toy solutions. I have been thinking about maybe getting an Ikea thing that, that those boxes fit in and just popping them there so that he's got tons of toy solution rather than just having them all over the floor. But yeah, I'm thinking of putting the tent away for a little while because he's not really playing with it anymore because he's distracted by everything else. So yeah, that's a pile of clothes that aren't dirty but aren't clean enough to go back in the drawer. So I'm like, I'll just put them here and go through them every now and then to see if there's anything he wants to wear. So yeah, it's not ideal right now. It's a bit crowded. So what I did when I wasn't on camera is I went through this box and put everything in there that is like a set. So he's got his piggy at the very bottom, he's got some other bits and bobs, but I also put his new fire toys all in here. So they're all together, they're all right there. And then I thought I'd get another storage basket for Leo's duplo train thing because I don't want those pieces getting lost, they all kind of have to stay together. So everything in this basket is for the duplo train. And then I thought I could take these and put them with his home kitchen because um, <clears throat> that's obviously a tea set so you can pretend to put water in the cups and these are eggs so you can pretend to cook with them. And then I'm thinking I'm going to go around here and maybe organise a little bit better. He's got so many cars now they're not all fitting in one little basket anymore. Even that, that holds 30 cars and it's absolutely overflowing now. What you doing? Oh, how I love you when you do that. <laughs> Christmas stuff. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. It's never ending. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Okay, everybody say abracadabra. Mm -hmm.